Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life Happens. I'm out with the family tonight for a little bit of hot pot, or lao as they call it. Um, this place is, again, the... I nearly got lost with the address too, but uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, show it to you here, okay? Okay, and this is the address here. Um, just plug that into Google Maps and you'll find exactly where it is without having to worry about any kind of address because all the buildings here, if you can tell, are really, really narrow. So within a couple of, like 100 square feet, there could be many, many restaurants and not all the signs and labels and everything are uh, very visible. But uh, today, the type of hot pot and grilling that we're gonna have is, uh, can you guess? Can, can, can you guess? It's, it's goat, okay? Which is uh, not very uh, popular in America. I don't know why. Maybe we can find out why it's not popular. But uh, inside the hot pot right now is uh, the actual goat meat, uh, tofu, and lotus. Um, and obviously, it has to come with your carbs. Um, if you're on a low carb diet, this is a, probably not the best choice because everyone's going to throw noodles in. And uh, you know, we have uh, this little wonderful plate here. It's also goat, but can you tell what it is? No. It's. Does anyone like breasts? Because uh, these are these are these are goat breasts. Yeah, you can't tell, can you? Huh? No, no, can't can't tell. It comes with a bunch of vegetables. Um, two we ordered two of them because it's a family of eight. So um, normally this is a lot cheaper than what we have in America because each each one um, is about well it's less than ten bucks actually. So you know that's that's a pretty good value for the amount of food you get. But uh, can I like you? That's that intestine? Okay. Something inside the bone. Oh, okay. So apparently that's bone marrow. That's. Good yeah. So that so that's a that's goat bone marrow. Apparently, um, they can get that out pretty easily. When it comes to my drink, it looks a little weird, and uh, it, when I describe it, it's gonna sound very unhealthy and. Uh, I, I don't doubt that it is unhealthy, but what, what I did was I got the soda chan, uh, which is essentially soda with lime, or our version of it. Um, but essentially what it is, is if you look down there, um, there was actually a lot more at the beginning, but that's, that's salt. They give you salt, ice, and some uh, green lemons, and uh, club soda. That, that's literally it. Like, it, it sounds like a weird combination, but I actually really, really like it. Um, the, I would have to say the amount of salt in there that they put at the beginning was, is twice the amount that's in there right now, probably. Um, so I probably ate half of that. Um, and I don't, I'm not proud of it, but uh, to me, it's actually delicious. Um, don't knock it till you try it, folks. Go, go to an Asian restaurant and try uh, try some soda chan, but this is the price, and it's all quite reasonable to sit if I had to say so myself. Um, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, it's a popular place, um, but it's still well within reasonable price range. Um, the restaurant is quite long, like the outside street is way down there, and it, it actually continues back there for quite a bit. Um, yeah, we um, tried to come before like the the rush, if you will. Technically, the rush already started because uh, traffic is really, really bad right now. But the restaurant itself is not too bad. When I came here, I got here early, and uh, there were less, eh, probably half a dozen tables here. Um, but it's slowly filling up quite quickly, um, which is fantastic because. You know, there are essentially no foreigners here, and I'm not saying anything about that, but when you go to a new place, always go to a, a local place. You know, you'll, you'll find the best food there. Um, I, I believe those balls are uh, fish paste balls. Um, I'm, I'm fairly certain on that if they're similar to uh, what we have in America as well. At least that's what I remember they were called. But, you know, it, stuff comes with a... 
dipping sauces as always with most Vietnamese cuisine there's always going to be a dipping sauce but uh, let me mix that up and see what it is because uh, I have not asked anyone what it is and I tend to do that on purpose you know you never know what you're going to get because keep the excitement going oh yeah that's whatever that is it's definitely fermented it is, it is definitely fermented I don't think it's spicy enough though but yeah uh, apparently what you do with the, the goat breast is you cook it on the grill you have the hot pot I'm gonna let the locals do their stuff because uh, I'm gonna do something wrong I, I, I know I will but uh, you know they, they come with bar snacks I think yeah they, they come with bags of peanut like sealed it's not like a communal bowl or anything um, that they pour out it's actually a sealed uh, uh, sealed bag. This is okra, right? Yeah, that's that's definitely okra. Man, you know, you guys, I, I really love barbecue and hot pot. The problem is, at least in my opinion, um, it's not a great thing in lar with large groups of people. You know, things take a long time to cook, um, and when you, when you're cooking for like four people per pot or you know sometimes more it really does take forever because it's gonna it's gonna take a while to cook the first batch and then you know people are gonna eat it in 30 seconds and then you have to wait a long time for the next batch as well Ooh. so apparently it comes with a uh, pickled vegetables pickled. <laughs> I have to say, the peanuts are, are quite good. They are uh, like baked crunchy. It is way, way crunchier than the peanuts you're used to. It's almost like a chip, like a three-dimensional chip, but it's just a peanut. I don't know how they seasoned it, but it's, 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 it has this hint of sweetness. It has this hint of sweetness. And, Man, the, the beer snack peanuts are fantastic. Like, these are way better than the, the beer snack peanuts in America at the bars. Okay, let's, let's try the, the goat breast. Let's, let's see what this is like. Actually, I made a mistake. The first piece should have been without sauce. Hmm. It's really good. It's a little chewy, but in a good way. It's, it's a great kind of chewy. It's not tough, but you get a bit of a snap to it. And I believe, yeah, well, the thing is I can't tell you guys what it, it tastes exactly like because I put a crap ton of sauce on there. But I think my next piece should be just straight up. That's weird because it doesn't look like it's seasoned. It just looks like straight up with a little bit of oil. But, but the, the thing is, it tastes a bit salty. It actually tastes like it has flavor. Which to me is kind of weird because like, it doesn't look seasoned at all. So I don't know what's going up with that. I don't know what's... Or they're not going up with that. Going on with that. Trust me, guys. Okra is way better when you grill it because the sliminess goes away. I don't, I don't know, there are certain people that like that, but I hate, hate, hate the sliminess of okra. And I could not stand it when it's uh, boiled or cooked in most ways. Like Even when it's fried, if it's whole, it, it stays kind of, kind of, you know, slimy. I don't really like that, but when you grill it like this, it's actually fantastic. So my uncle just uh, point, pointed out the alcohol. So the, the, the problem here is um, they, they, they use ro, um, the word ro for... From what? Okay, okay. Oh, really? There's something called Vietnamese <laughs> well, the problem is like when they say uh, ro, um, it's it's just an alcoholic word. 
So it, it's hard to tell um, exactly what it is. It could be a whiskey, it could be a wine, it could be, you know, a lot of different things. But uh, I think they're gonna force me to try it. But yeah, guys, like, you know, if you're gonna get goat breast, yeah, you, you know that's a country that eats every part of the animal. But why don't we have this in America? Because this is fantastic. And the thing is, if no one told you it was goat breast, you wouldn't know it was that at all. It, it just tastes like just straight up good. Oh, he's gonna do. He's gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, oh, this. Okay, apparently this is. Okay, apparently this is for me. Let's see how this goes. Oh man, that. Oh, that 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 goes through your that goes through your na nasal cavity real quick, real quick. It, you get a warmth. Um, it's it's actually like I know it's strong, but it doesn't burn. You get a really deep warmth um, rather than a burn. That was and uh, there's a hint of sweetness, and a hint of cherry to it, and it has a like a woody aroma to it. And I I don't think I've ever had anything like that strong be that smooth. Like that was wow. That was that was actually not too bad. Like the warmth is even though it's my first shot, the warmth is actually still going down the, the back of my throat. Ooh, that was that was good. I, I, I have no idea how much it was though. And that's how you do it guys here. You have one shot glass, a plastic bottle, and fun. You have to pass around the bottle. And you know, it, it seems inconvenient, but just try it. It's actually more fun than you think. And you, there you go, see? Look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. She does. She doesn't want to be filmed, but she does want the shot. So. <laughs> you, you, yep. Would you like to advertise? <laughs> okay. Yep. One hundred percent. I thought I'd be more fun cam. So apparently that's how it works. You do, you do one at a time. You choose. Yeah, you know, we chose the grilling first, and then uh, we'll get to the hot pot in a moment here. Which I can't wait because you know. The thing that makes the world go round and makes the world fat is the carbs. And uh, I need my noodles. There are four different types of noodles. So this is almost like a, a, a ramen type noodle. And then a, a vermicelli. It looks like a fresh vermicelli. A fresh vermicelli. Sorry, I am burping. A, uh, a more of a dry vermicelli. And then a flat noodle vermicelli. Oh, but now we can get to the hot pot. The actual reason why we were here. And uh, I am very interested in that bone marrow. Oh, there's tofu there too. But that... That bone marrow should be really good. Really good. I've, I've never had bone marrow like that before. You know, there are some classy restaurants that... Uh, have like uh, beef bone marrow inside the bone that they serve you. I've never had like all the bone removed and you just have the, the bone marrow separated like that. Especially like not broken up. Like they just, it's all in one long piece, which is amazing. How did they do that? Like I would think like breaking up the bone, you would get, you know, bits and chunks of it out. But yeah, that is some skill right there. Oh, and there's another bag of peanuts. I love those peanuts. No, seriously, these are 
Vietnamese peanuts are some of the best in the world. They are so, so crunchy. It's, it's boiling. They're gonna throw the vegetables in. But to be honest though, in my opinion, at the very least, um, the pot is not that big. Which, you know, in, in theory, it's mainly just broth. So it doesn't cost much to put um, more broth in, in a bigger, bigger pot. But my biggest issue with small pots is not the broth or the amount of food you get. It's just that you can't cook very much in it. Like, you know, you can only throw a little bit of food in it before it fills up and, you know, again, with a group of four people, um, you know, four per table, you kind of, you kind of want a big pot just so you can throw a lot of food in all at once, so. But, uh, you know, that's a small inconvenient. Oh, it literally is small, okay. Okay. Tofu, yams, there's the lotus, well, we have to do the bone marrow, ooh that's a lot of bone marrow, that is a lot of bone marrow, but uh, let's see what the rest of it is like first, everything here is goat, so that has been cooking for a while, so it should be really really tender. Oh man, no, that's hot. Okay, that's really hot. No, I can't do it. No, I'm a coward. I'm a coward. That that doesn't work. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh. oh. Why did I think the tofu was gonna be better? The tofu was way worse. The tofu soaks up the, the broth. It's just boiling liquid inside the tofu. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a really, really bad idea. And actually, if you guys haven't seen lotus root, this is lotus root. So, it's pretty easy to tell. It looks like a sponge. Let's see what it's like. It's starchy, but it's like when you boil it, it's not as it doesn't get as a crumbly as potatoes do when you boil them for a while. This is actually still pretty firm, but it tastes like most of the flavor has come from the broth. It doesn't taste like the, the lotus root doesn't have very much flavor. It's a very mild flavor. So I think it's really good at picking up whatever sauce flavor you, you use. Hmm. I thought the taro would be sweeter. I guess everything just pretty much soaked up the broth flavor, which by the way is quite deep and powerful. It's, you know, it looks thin. It looks, it looks quite thin actually, but the depth of flavor, man. It tastes like a much thicker sauce. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Like, this has to have been cooked for a long time, a really long time. Let's see. I'm gonna use chopsticks because the spoon is not helping. But yeah. The. The broth has penetrated everything. Every, everything tastes like the broth, and that is not a bad thing because the broth is really delicious. Mm. The goat is pretty tender. Um, I just took the meat part. This is the skin, and uh, it's not gamey at all, actually. Um, I don't know if it's the cooking method or freshness or, or whatnot, but it was almost like um, beef. It was almost like beef. It had a very similar texture, 
Um, you know when you have uh, beef cubes in a, in a broth and you cook it for a while and it gets really, really tender? Um, that, that's kind of what it's like. It doesn't taste very different from that at all. Because um, normally I've, I've had goat before, like especially if you had grilled goat, it's, it's quite gamey. It, it's quite gamey, so. But this just isn't at all. It, like, let's see. Let's see what the skin is like. Wow. So, man, I would never be able to tell that this is goat because the meat tastes like beef. And then the skin, for any of you guys that have had uh, this kind of... Uh, if you have uh, Japanese food, like chashu, like the, the pork that's uh, really, really tender, that's what the skin tastes like. The skin tasted like pork, but the meat tasted like beef. That's, that's a weird combination because neither of it tasted like goat. Which I think it's quite weird, but it's really, really good. Ooh. So what we have here is the, uh, the bone marrow. This is the bone marrow that was thrown in, and if it's anything from uh, what I remember, it's been a while, but this should be melt in your mouth tender. And it actually is. The fish balls, well, to be honest with you, they're all from what I can tell, they're all pretty much made like in a similar, if not the exact same way. They, uh, nothing, nothing wrong with it, nothing bad about it. It's just nothing special about it. It's, it's fish balls. Never thought I'd say that, but apparently the marrow is surrounded by like some, it's almost like a, a blood vessel, kind of like a a chewy rubber tube kind of thing obviously except edible but apparently that's what keeps it together because uh, and I thought it was a uh, I thought it was really soft and it fall apart and it does but that's the inside part apparently um, normally you don't get that but when you get the entire thing and uh, it, it's, you get the best of both worlds. You get something chewy on the outside and something melts in your mouth delicious on the inside. Mm. But seriously, the meat just tastes like beef. And the skin just tastes like pork skin. It's, it's a weird, weird combination. And I've never had it like this before. Well, they gave it to me. Um, you don't really have a choice here. Bottoms up. <laughs> Man, that really does go down smooth. Ooh. So I have this, uh, apparently they serve this magical refilling bowl that uh, never empties. Man, that's amazing. Does every restaurant come like that here? A, I need to get this at home because I, I can't afford to keep buying food. I have to. I eat too much, so having a self-refilling uh, bowl is fantastic. But yeah, guys, the the place is called Lumpy. You can tell by that guy's shirt right there. No, I do not own the restaurant. I'm assuming those people at the register do, but. Uh, that's what it's called. I didn't even notice that, but everything around us has filled up. All the way to the back. So, yeah, this place is uh, filled up a lot for the... Uh, actually, we're fairly early dinner-wise. When you come to a place with this many locals just packing themselves in, you know you're in for a good time. You're definitely in for a good time. If anything, someone might even come to you and force you to take a shot. Highly recommend to you guys. And uh, again, the prices are quite reasonable. So 
If you guys come here, bring an empty stomach because there is a lot of opportunity to eat. Have a great one, guys.